Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rose. Usually I talk a lot about avoidant personality disorder. I've been kind of trying to get away from that a little bit and I've been learning that that's kind of a very difficult thing to do on YouTube. I've decided that I, I really want to work on my consistency with my videos and so I'm going to try to release a video every week and my goal is to release one on Sundays. Um, I get Thursdays off, so I'm going to try to record on Thursday and have it all ready and, and set up and sent out by Sunday. And basically what I'm trying to do is I just want to share with people what's been happening with kind of how I've been trying to get over the avoidant personality disorder. Um, I've made a lot of real progress this year and I feel a lot better about myself and I've been having kind of... I, I don't know, I, I've been dealing with it and I, I wanted to talk to people about it and so I, I kind of want to give like a weekly report about what's going on with that and so I wanted to start out just with this video telling you the main problem that I've been seeing. Um, I really faced my fear um, because a, a person that was very close to me got very drunk and told me that I they thought I was a coward because I was so afraid to talk to people and so I um I really stuck you know struck to my core I was like oh wow that's one thing I really don't want to be is a coward so I kind of owned up to that and realized that it was true and I've been trying to change that about myself and what I have noticed has happened is that I've started to release a lot of like pent up anger and it's been coming out in ways where like a person will be disrespectful or mean to me and I just I'm not having it <laughs> I'll immediately call them out on it and it's almost like I'm not even controlling it which is probably bad but it's like for my entire life I've had this fear of speaking up and of calling people out when they're disrespectful to me. I've always been kind of like this meek dumbass until you like break this, you know, barrier where I get angry enough to actually say something. And lately it's been the opposite where like I just immediately will say something and I, I will, I've been trying to control my anger because I feel like I've been letting out years of anger that have just been built up inside of me. And so I've been trying to talk to my therapist about it a lot and she's like, Rose, violence is not the answer. I'm like, I just really want to punch someone in the face. Like, <laughs> I feel like for a really long time, I've been really afraid of people and people have realized that and been disrespectful to me. And <sighs> it's like people that are still in my life and you know, you really have to call, start calling people out on it because, <sighs> But at the same time, I have to realize that I am very, um, and I mean this in the most respectful way, I'm retarded as in like my progress, my progress, um, socially speaking, has been retarded, it's been slowed down um, I, it, as far as conversation goes. So now I'm very, I keep getting very angry and I just don't have the, I guess I'm starting to learn, but I, I did not have the conversation skills to deal with the anger that I was feeling and I noticed that I started blowing up at people and uh, really calling people out and so what I'm working on lately is healthy release of anger and really dealing in a, a healthy way with anger that's been pent up for a long time and I think that I'm noticing parallels between what I'm going through and what like people that are escaping addiction go through um and you know I, I don't mean any like you know um what would you call that offensive parallels I'm not trying to say that like my my AVPD was just like addiction I'm not trying to say that I'm saying that when you listen to the um like the 12 steps one of the 12 steps in order to get past it is um uh, what would you call that? Uh, like apologizing, apologizing for all the things that you've done to people and um, like making reparations, repairing your relationships. And uh, I'm realizing that that's something that I also have to do because I've realized that I've 
gotten myself into the situation enough times where like I was too afraid to talk to a person so we just stopped being friends and what really needed to happen was I needed to have a conversation with that person rather than just writing them off and there are consequences for being dismissive and rude to people and I've realized that I really need to own up to my mistakes and I really need to um I guess have conversations with like very difficult conversations with people and I think that I've realized through this whole journey of trying to like get over this whole mental problem that that's a necessary step that is after facing a bit of my fear slightly less terrifying than it was before and a whole lot more necessary than I ever realized it was going to be so as far as my weekly report goes on my trying to get over this horrible fucking mental problem, um, that's where I'm at. A lot of pent up anger, a lot of like recognizing how disrespectful people have been to me, how many people have been taking advantage of me. Um, just, and also, and I'm not even trying to like have hatred or anger for anybody else. I think that people will just take advantage where they can. I think that's just human nature so I'm not trying to like say anyone's bad for treating me how I was telling other people that I, I needed to be treated because if you are avoidant and you're always shy and unsure of yourself then it's probably true that people are seeing you as a person who believes that they can be disrespected and I think I really gave off that aura for a long time and I think that my anger currently is just being fed up with being treated that way and so uh, trying to come up, come to terms with that anger in a really healthy way. So weekly report, that's what that's at. Um, I also am really trying to work on my consistency in a lot of different ways. I'm really trying to build up my neurological power, um, you know, making my, my brain just stronger so I can take more information so I can understand more things. Um, and so the best way to do that is to build, uh, good habits. And so I've been trying to build really good habits. And so just as far as like a weekly report goes, I'm just going to lay that out right here. I've been really working on waking up at 5 AM every day. Been actually pretty consistent about that. I sleep till 5 30 in the morning sometimes, but whatever. <laughs> um, been waking up doing like a 10 minute stretch. I've been doing my yoga. I've been trying to work out for an hour every day. We've been doing keto for the last week. That's been great. Um, so yeah, all those things. And also I've been really trying to focus on just m making sure that I'm f being mindful of my thoughts and being mindful of um, if I'm getting too angry or if I'm maybe there are other factors in my anger. I've noticed that I will get angry and stay angry for a long time and I won't realize that maybe it's just that time of the month and I shouldn't be so angry. <laughs> I know there's a lot of like women that that will make angry but uh, I think that we need to recognize that maybe sometimes are a little bit more serious to us uh things are a little bit more serious to us during that time and so I've been trying to recognize and uh regulate that also what I've been really trying to work on is um I got this new computer so I can do some more video editing where I couldn't before because my computer was so glitchy um so I'm gonna be working a lot on that hope I can make some better YouTube videos and Honestly, like doing this weekly report thing, I'm not really working uh, for any type of like view goal. I just really want to work on being consistent at releasing videos so I can get a good process down. And I think that this is the most consistent thing that I do. I do this with my therapist where I give her kind of like a rundown of what's going on. So I think it's kind of a good thing for other people with avoidant personality to hear that there is still like a struggle even after you've kind of like figured out how to get over it. Um, there's still problems that you have to face and one of them is apparently uh, at least with me a lot of pent-up anger Like oh my god, I got so mad at this guy the other day. He was <laughs> this is a really good example. I I don't usually uh, call people out when they're disrespectful to me. I just don't I'm not I mean like maybe but not not in a really forceful type of way anyway, I was at the gas station and uh we, I was getting like beers for the house, like we were having a party or something. I was getting beers for the house and I had like both my kids with me because we were on our way home from something. And so I get in line and <laughs> there's this lady who's apparently like new. She doesn't know what she's doing. And the other two people back there are frustrated with her and they keep, 
there the one guy looks and he was like can you just ring this lady up just can you do that can you just do that so you can tell like he's already like majorly frustrated with this lady and she was like fine i'll do that and so she comes over and she starts like trying to ring me up but she can't log into her computer so she can't ring me up and uh so she's getting frustrated that she can't do her job. Finally, the guy was like, just log out and log back in. And so she does that. It still doesn't work. And so she goes, look, you have to go over to the other register, I think. And so I'm standing there for a second. And I realize like, she's not going to like help move the stuff over to the other register or anything. So I like grab all of my things from this register and I look over and there, another register has opened right next door. And one guy has walked up behind this register. Behind me, there's a line of like six people because everyone's been waiting for this lady, right? And so I, I don't want to like push this guy who's just walked up here out of the way. So I go stand in the other line behind this guy, right? And this guy in front of me leaves and this dude from the other line walks up and literally like squeezes in front of me and puts his stuff down on the counter. And I was like, this mother. I turn around and I look, there's this couple standing right here, and I look at them, and they were like, they both gave me this look like, like, uh, you know, this crazy look like they knew what had just happened as well, but they weren't going to say anything, right? I look at the guy at the cash register, he's not going to say anything either, and I said, hey, asshole! And I yelled at this guy. <laughs> I screamed at him, and he turned around, or he didn't say anything, and I yelled at him again, hey, asshole! And he finally turned around, I was like, what the f right and he he was like hey there's a line and i was like what the fuck you mean line man i was at the register and i just started yelling at this guy <laughs> and he turned around and refused to look at me or talk to me and then just got his stuff and walked out the store and i'm just standing there like everyone saw what happened i got up to the register i put my stuff down and this guy at the register he goes wow that's probably gonna ruin your whole day isn't it <laughs> I was like, no, it's not. <laughs> I just gave him my card. <laughs> but it was crazy because I remember I left the store. I left the gas station thinking like, damn, I never would have done that before. And it just came out of me. I was just mad. And like, there was no fear. I wasn't afraid of this guy at all. And he was like, you know, like a construction worker type of guy. Like, and I'm, you know, I've been told I don't look like people want to fight me, but also this guy could probably beat me up, you know? And so he shouldn't have been afraid of me, but he definitely like would not even try to, he, he wouldn't even talk to me. I was so mad. I was like yelling at this guy in the store. <laughs> but that's why I mean what I'm saying. Like I got this pent up anger coming out of me and I don't even like, I mean, it was a big deal. He deserved to get yelled at, but it was just weird to me that I was willing to do it. Whereas before I probably would have just been like, well, I guess this guy just cut in front of me, you know, I would just let it happen. Um, so that's been a weird thing that I've been dealing with, just actually being able to speak to people and honestly, like seeing people react to me standing up for myself has been pretty weird as well. Um, Cause you start recognizing who, uh, who's just taking advantage of you, you know? And that's a, that's a little disappointing. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, I think that's about it for this week. I'll talk to you guys later. I'm going to go edit this video and hopefully have it ready on Sunday. And I'm going to try to have one every Sunday so you guys can hear about my boring life. And uh, I'm trying to really do something different this year because I've, the other thing that I've noticed with the whole AVPD thing is like I've just stunted my entire life. I've failed at everything. I'm not making any money. I'm relying on my man to pay our bills and like I'm paying my side of the bills too but like I, I sh you know as hard as I'm trying I should be making some amount of you know good money so <sighs> anyway all right <laughs> uh support my page buy my audible subscription audible.com slash rose or maybe I'll have a patreon at some point um yeah, I'm going to look into a couple other things and hopefully this year I'm going to get it together and I'm going to make some good money and I'm going to have a good channel for you guys and everyone's going to be happy and nobody's going to be avoidant and we're all going to be together and talking to one another and not awkwardly. All right. <laughs> okay, so this is the first week of January and uh, I'm out. Peace. <laughs>